Today we're reviewing the Hyundai Chainsaw. Hello, I'm Griffey, so welcome to Gwyneth Griffey and here we talk everything beekeeping farming, countryside living and we do reviews as well just like this video. Now today I've got my brand new Hyundai petrol chainsaw. I paid a little bit over £100 for this saw which is crazy cheap when if we were to compare this saw with like a Still or a Husqvarna. So the big question is what kind of saw do you get for that kind of money? Well, today I'm going to talk through the saw, show the different features on it, start it up, and then I've got a windblown tree on the farm which needs cutting up, and we'll test it on that, see how it goes. Let's get into it. Now, if this is your first time watching the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. So, what's so special about the saw? Let's look at the features. So, we've got the bar, we've got the chain, and when I bought this, this came with a huge array of different stuff. It came with two chains, came with a spa, uh, like a, a chainsaw spanner, which is ideal, and lots of other things. So, just like any other kind of saw, you've got the dead man trigger there, which is a safety feature. You've got the chain brake, which is absolutely crucial on any saw. This one's got that. We've got, which I like, the metal teeth there, which digs into the wood, so it gives you a bit of leverage when cut in. That's good. We've got the chain catcher there, good to see that on the saw. The compression valve there, so you can press that to start it off easy. Instructions on the top, how to start it. Pull cord, your two stroke fuel, your chain on that side, which is pretty much identical with any other kind of saw on the market. And that's it, it's got everything that I would want on a saw. Obviously you haven't got the super fancy features like a steel or a Husqvarna, but you know, you can't compare the price. The, the price bracket is totally different. Now to start this is pretty easy. We press the compression button in there. We've got the choke in the back. Pull that out. Give that bubble a couple of presses. On off switch there. Put that on on. Push the choke in. Almost there. Chain brake works perfect there. So that's it for the saw. Let's see how this cuts some wood. Well, here we are. Here's a tree. Almost hit our honesty box, which I'd be absolutely gutted if it did break that but luck had us that night and it saved. So I'm just gonna cut through the small branches first, see how this cuts, and then we're gonna go into the big stuff and then see how that goes. Let's go.
so that tree cut up in no time. And I tell you what, that saw did a really good job there. Cut through this stuff really easy. And you know, it's not a massive tree. But it was flying through stuff like that. Granted, the chain is new, the saw is new. But literally, a hundred pound saw. And I think that's the market for this saw, really. It's not in the market for professional tree cutters or professional tree surgeons. It's in the market for farm, DIY, you've got a tree that's come down on your property, you'll be maybe quoted a few hundred quid to clear it. You can buy this for a hundred pound and do the work yourselves as long as you know how to do it and you wear the correct PPE. Helmet, trousers, that's the main thing. Make sure you wear that if you're gonna undertake a bit of tree cutting yourself. But I tell you, hundred pound saw, the weight feels really good. It's not super light and cheap. It feels heavy. Yeah, the, the plastic feels a bit cheaper. Um, being used to using a Skavana and still um, all my life. But I tell you what, you can't knock this chainsaw for a hundred pound. So, and you know, even professional guys, for a hundred pound and you've got this at the back of the pickup as a spare, just in case your saw breaks, is not a bad thing. This saw is a thumbs up from me. Well, that's it for this video. I need to clear this firewood now so I can get a lawn back. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.